Oblivious is a legendary and mysterious arcade game that has achieved urban legend status in video game history. The game is described as an urban legend, or even a creepypasta, and its existence and authenticity has been a subject of debate and speculation for years. While there's no concrete evidence that the game actually exists, its story has captivated the gaming community and spawned numerous myths and conspiracy theories along the way. The origin of Polybius is shrouded in the murky depths of internet folklore, emerging from the digital shadows of early 2000s online forums and websites dedicated to video game urban legends and eerie tales. Like whispers in the dark, the story of Polybius slowly crept into the collective consciousness of the gaming community, captivating the imaginations of those who stumbled upon it. In the annals of this legend, it is said that Polybius made its spectral debut in the early 1980s, circa 1981 in the bustling city of Portland, Oregon, an era when arcades reigned supreme and the neon glow of video game cabinets beckoned to players like sirens luring sailors into treacherous waters. Polybius, as described in these chilling accounts, was no ordinary game. Its existence defied convention, transcending the boundaries of typical arcade fare. Players who dared to engage with it would soon discover that it was a unique and enigmatic creation, with vector graphics that pulsed and writhed like living things. However, it was not the visuals that set Polybius apart, but rather the harrowing psychological effects that it brought upon its hapless victims. Tales of players succumbing to amnesia, bouts of extreme anxiety, Tormented by relentless nightmares and seized by violent, uncontrolled convulsions began to circulate in the most extreme cases. The gameplay was shrouded in a surreal psychedelic haze, blurring the line between reality and a feverish dream. Yet the dread surrounding Polybius extended far beyond its in-game horrors. A sinister presence loomed over the arcade cabinets like a shadow cast by evil forces. Government agents in black suits and dark sunglasses were reported to lurk nearby their motives shrouded in secrecy. These figures were known by many as the Men in Black, evoking eerie associations with covert government operations. As the legend goes, these shadowy figures were not mere bystanders, but active collectors of data, gathering information on players, their reactions, and their behavior while ensnared by the sinister charms of Polybius. Theories began popping up that Polybius was more than just an evil game. It was part of a covert government experiment, a tool for mind control or behavior modification, a puppeteer pulling the strings of unwitting players. But, like all dark tales, Polybius eventually vanished from the scene, leaving only whispers and fragmented memories behind. According to the legend, the game's disappearance was as sudden and mysterious as its arrival. In a matter of weeks, it was gone, as if it had never existed at all. Arcade owners removed the cabinets, leaving no trace of the digital tormentor that had once haunted their establishments. As with any legend, the story of Polybius is a labyrinth of intrigue and speculation, a narrative tangled with threads of skepticism and doubt. Many have questioned the legend's authenticity, dismissing it as a fanciful fabrication, a clever hoax orchestrated by an inventive storyteller. Skeptics point to the absence of tangible evidence, no authentic arcade cabinets, no genuine gameplay footage as proof of its fictional nature. They argue that the notions of government agents and mind control are the stuff of conspiracy theories rather than concrete facts. Because yeah, government agents and mind control are things that never happened, especially during the 70s and 80s. That type of stuff never happened in the US. Nope. Amidst the fog of uncertainty that envelops the legend of Polybius, the description of its gameplay emerges as a kaleidoscope of eerie sensations and surreal experiences. Though the game itself is widely debated, the accounts of those who claim to have ventured into its digital abyss share a standard disquieting narrative. Polybius is, by all accounts, a deviation from the norm. It beckoned players with the promise of a unique arcade experience, offering visuals that danced and pulsed with a mesmerizing hypnotic quality. The graphics, rendered in a style reminiscent of vector-based arcade games of its supposed era, bore an otherworldly allure. The objective was simple, eliminate enemies, evade obstacles, and reach the next level. Amidst the mystique and enigma that shroud Polybius, a constellation of theories and explanations have emerged each striving to decode the perplexing legend while adding layers of intrigue to its story. A dominant approach, particularly favored by skeptics, contends that Polybius is fundamentally a work of fiction, 
a mere internet hoax. An alternative viewpoint posits that Polybius originated as an artistic or conceptual project rather than a tangible arcade game. According to this interpretation, the legend could be an experiment in blurring the lines between reality and myth, employing elements of immersive storytelling and digital artistry. In this scenario, the lack of physical evidence might be intentional, with Polybius conceived as a thought-provoking exploration of the boundaries of gaming and urban mythology. Other theories delve more into the psychology and sociology side of it, suggesting that the legend of Polybius may reflect broader societal anxieties and obsessions. From this perspective, the game's purported mind-altering effects might symbolize fears relating to technology, government control, or the potential consequences of immersive gaming experiences. Polybius might even be seen as a cautionary tale, reflecting concerns about the psychological impact of video games on vulnerable players. Contrary to skepticism surrounding its existence, a minority view suggests that Polybius might indeed have been a real, albeit scarce, arcade game that has managed to remain hidden from public view. Supporters of this theory propose that the game's rarity and disappearance are attributed to a limited release, a short lifespan, or an unforeseen circumstance that led to its obscurity. Some theorists even explore the idea that the legend of Polybius is a product of collective memory and myth-making. This tale evolved organically over time by retelling stories and urban legends. So, according to this perspective, the code may have originated from a kernel of truth, but it has since been embellished, exaggerated, and distorted as it passed from person to person. Think of it like a game of telephone, where one person might say, the popcorn is popping, the very last person down the line might say, the fog is coming, the fog is coming, the fog is coming, the fog is coming. In video games, Polybius has become a compelling source of inspiration. Game developers have often paid homage to the legend, embedding references to Polybius within their own creations. These nods serve as easter eggs, beckoning players to explore virtual worlds and uncover hidden connections to the mysterious legend. But beyond gaming, Polybius has also made its way into television, film, literature, and other forms of storytelling. It has become a recurring motif in tales that explore themes of paranoia, government conspiracy theories, and the blurred lines between reality and illusion. Filmmakers and writers have drawn inspiration from the legend's core elements to craft narratives that tap into the unease of the digital age. Polybius has even spawned documentaries and investigative projects, where filmmakers and researchers delve into the murky depths of the legend in search of answers. These docs tend to blend fact and fiction, mirroring the very nature of the myth itself, as they explore the purported history and cultural impact of Polybius. The legend's allure also extends to the art world, where contemporary artists have used Polybius as a canvas for their explorations of technology, nostalgia, and urban mythology. Through various forms of visual and conceptual art, they capture the haunting essence of the legend and provoke thought about the fine line between reality and imagination. In essence, Polybius has become a symbol of the enduring power of urban legends and the capacity of stories to captivate the human psyche. Whether seen as a genuine piece of gaming history, a work of creative fiction, or maybe even something in between, Polybius leaves its mark on pop culture, inviting us to question the boundaries of reality and myth in our ever-evolving digital landscape. It serves as a reminder that even the most cryptic and unsettling stories have the potential to transcend their origins and become a part of the cultural tapestry that defines our times. But I want to know, what do you think? Do you think Polybius is real? Do you think it's nothing more than a hoax? Personally, I lean more towards it's a hoax, but I still want to know what your thoughts are. Let me know down below in the comments. I'm Cole McCormick. You're watching Firewood Media. Stay tuned for more uncharted narratives just like this. Thank you so much for watching.